<laughs> Good morning, is it from Zester's lab? I feel like death warmed up. I don't know, I've got a, a cold or something. It's in my nose and I drank a pull so I feel a little bit better. So I'm now at that stage where I feel too good to be in bed but not too good to do anything else but not well enough to do anything else except paint always paint so i was looking at photographs and um, pinterest and stuff and i thought what will i paint or will i paint and then all of a sudden i feel better after drinking the desperin so now i'm painting and i'm making a video so let's see how it goes so I saw this beautiful photo of, of, of a farm scene. You can look there. It's just gorgeous. So I'm quickly going to show you how I'm going to do this. So let's see what's going to happen. What better? I mean, what better to do than paint when you don't feel well? Do what makes you happy. Then, then if you've got your healing. So... I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm just going to do what brings me joy and happiness. And in that spirit of just be grateful and thankful, there's life. Abundant life is in me. It's who I am. So I really need some healing and whatever this day. So I'm just going to do what I love. And just not expect. I'm not going to expect. I'm just going to realize that the life in me is able to do in and through me whatever it wants to do. And I've got the strength to paint. So I I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen in me, through me. On the canvas, life happens now. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Let me try and... This is not going to be, a, as usual, a very, very... A lesson. It's just going to be... I'm just going to show you how I do it. And if I can, you can. Okay, so I've got this... You've seen this. Mm, now it's moving all around. So I've got my little picture. I always work, mostly I work from a picture. So what I do now, I've got my palette knife, a nice large one if I can find it. Usually, you know me, I just jump in. Not, I'm not really ready. I just go for it. So what I do is it, I take my paint. I've wetted my canvas with water. Now I look where, the, kind of look where my, what colors are needed. Then I take my paints and I'm, oops, I'm just going to drop it where I kind of see some color this is me I love doing this then I'm gonna take some sand and I'm just gonna throw it randomly onto my canvas you're gonna see the beautiful texture especially when I do the second layer then there's just that little bit of texture going on I'm just looking for more colors. I just really want to have this colorful. My mountains, a little bit of pink in it. I've got my yellows. I've got my orange. I've got my blue. So let's go. So I usually I start at the bottom at the further back but I just want to clean this thing so that it's I get my white sky a little bit of blue in the sky I've got my palette knife let me just come down with this thing so what I do is I really just 
smear it casually with my palette knife onto my canvas. If I look at the picture and I see, okay, I want a little bit more pink in, I just dab, dab, put my palette knife into the pink, and then I just smear this onto my canvas, bring more white where I want white, and don't worry if your color is not exactly what you're looking for. When this is dry, you just take a paint brush with a little bit of paint on and then you work on your color okay there it is this is now my my green are a little bit on the wrong spot so this is my mountain a little pink in the mountain you see if it's still wet and you use the other, co other colors it's just coming in there is now orange coming into my mountain look if you scrape how beautiful it gets when you scrape i'm just playing need a little bit more white so I just throw it there in the middle so then I can just scoop it up and now if I no longer really look at the picture now it's becoming my own thing as I said I feel too weak to really care and that is a very good place to be, then you don't overthink. The sand makes it a little bit dry, so then I need to use more paint. There I come with my yellow, the yellow sunflower field. Canvas is a little bit getting is getting too dry, so I'm moving down. Just make sure you cover the whole canvas. a little bit brown here sand I'm still in it you see it's just you just play with the colors and you allow the paint mixed with the water and the sand to do whatever it wants to do. This stage is more about covering the canvas. I can hear my son in the kitchen, he's busy making his brunch. I would like more orange. And then there where there's, oh, that one is dry. 
where there's open spaces, now you just put other colors. Don't over mix because as soon as you over mix you get this just one color and you don't want that. You want to see all the different, different colors blending in. That's it. So this is kind of my um, background. You can see it there, there's some open spaces, so with my dirty palette knife, I'm just covering it. You can see the different colors coming in, that's it. So now I'm going for the trees, there's my greens. So really you just tip, tip, tip with this thing where you think the trees are going to be. There's just that, the little house I just put on scrape. Out where I think the little house is going to be, and I'm going to put him in, in later. something wrong so I just tip 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 over it see that's the nicest when it's still wet you can just close it up again Color it in later. This is just to get the that's it. So now I look for a little bit of brown. Then I just make the trees. Don't overthink, think like a child. And then later when this is drier, I'm gonna put more color into the trees. This is just the, the little wood, a little house inside. Lots of trees you always get go for your black to get the shading onto the trees Tip, tip, tip. 
little bit dark under the trees. Thanks for joining me, Zit from Zitstoslab. I'll show you the end result.